Today I'm going to work on the rear suspension. I already have the front suspension lowered down so it'll handle better. Now I need to lower the back to match that. And uh, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that, but um, I might have to change these shocks. But it's definitely going to sit lower and handle better and look much cooler. So let's get started. I want this back end about an inch or two lower than it currently sits. And that way I have better balance with the front end modifications that I've already done. So to do that, I have to take the shocks off. Now, I've already taken the left shock off. I just need to take this right one off. Um, it's held on just by these uh, two bolts. Uh, the first one actually also holds on our new custom fabricated tail light. So I'll take that one off first. because I want to be careful with these mods that we've already done. And the top one... off just like that okay that should be the last bolt holding everything together and just uh, pry this shock off got the uh, shocks off the back got the back end lowered down um, it sits quite a bit lower but there's still plenty of clearance here between the frame and the tire so um, obviously with the back end lowered down, these stock shocks are now way too long. So if I put this back on, you can see the difference here on how long the shock is versus uh, where it was for this mounting point. So hang on, the shock actually goes there. Okay, I'm sorry. So now we have the difference between here and here. So I'm just going to go in and uh, measure that and then uh, go look on eBay and find a shock that has the correct length from here to here and then uh, when those come in I can install that and then we have a lowered rear end. Alright, I'm, I'm back already. Um, measured from here to here between these two shock points it's 11 inches. An 11 inch shock on eBay is like a hundred bucks for a set and I obviously can't afford that with this build. So I was thinking that if I move the shock mounts, I'll be able to um, easily use our original shocks without having to buy new ones. So if I put this on this lower mounting point, um, as you can see there the shock's way too long. But if I move it over here, the shock's the right size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of blue tape there and mark it. So now all I have to do is put a bolt right there and then I can mount the shock from here to here and then I can just uh, cut that off so I'm gonna get started on that I have this whole shock mounting thing all figured out now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole where I marked here right through the frame and I'm gonna take this long bolt and I'm gonna mount the shock to the bolt through the frame and then there's enough room to put a nut on the back side of that so the shock will mount right there where I wanted it and I don't have to try to fabricate something or try to uh, like epoxy a screw on there or something so I think this is a much better solution so whenever you drill a hole you need to put some oil on it because there's a lot of friction with the drill bit and I'm gonna go ahead and start a hole on this side and then um, after this hole is drilled all the way through and I have this shock mounted I'm going to go ahead and mount the one up on the left side. Uh, both shocks mounted. It didn't take long to drill through the frame. I've got uh, the, the bolts and the, the screws in, so that's all done. Um, I still need to cut off this uh, old strut thing for the where the old shock was, along with all these other goofy things that I don't need anymore now that I have the new seat. Um, oh yeah, someone pointed out that this side of the frame where I cut off was actually longer than this side. So you can see where there's a plumber's putty in there and it's painted black. Um, this I trimmed off this morning so it matches that side. And I actually found this cork that was in the end of a bicycle handle. So I'm going to plug that in there to keep water from going in. Um, left side, it looks just like the right side. So we have a good shock set up. And I uh, think this is looking pretty good so far. I'm going to put the seat back on and uh, button everything up and see how it looks. So I put my seat on and uh, the ride height looks really good in the back and this new shock position 
has it sitting very level with the front end. Um, so that'll be nice sporty handling for performance. And, and the tire uh, clears that seat by a solid uh, inch to inch and a half. So that's looking good. Um, put my tail light back on. Uh, it's looking like a real cafe racer. So I'm really happy with the progress. Next project I'd like to see is uh, getting that part for the carburetor so I can put some, some uh, gas in this thing and take it for a test ride. But uh, if that doesn't happen soon, then I might uh, continue doing some other modifications. So I was even uh, maybe thinking about working on that gas tank itself. So anyway, um, things are looking good. A lot of progress today. And I'll talk to you next time.